Number 10. Mercedes AMG EQS 53. Mercedes' first crack at a luxury EV saloon certainly isn't short on ambition, with its swoopy Coupe style looks and the option of a heady 751 horsepower dual motor combo helping grab the attention. With a large 107.8 kilowatt hours battery, it has the stamina you expect for a long distance limousine too. With a claimed range just north of 350 miles. As you'd expect, performance is astonishing. With even the lesser 649 brake horsepower version, we tested managing to crack 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds and more impressively, smash 30 to 70 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds. At speed, it's refined and comfortable too, with low noise levels and a supple air-suspended ride. The interior is also very spacious, and while perhaps not up to the standard of the brand's S-Class in terms of a high-grade fixtures and fittings, its vast, hyper-screen digital dashboard option certainly creates an impression, even if it isn't the easiest to navigate. Number 9. Alpina B7 if it is exclusivity you crave, do not be fooled by the BMW badge on the long bonnet of the Alpina B7. Of all the supremely special and rare cars on this list, perhaps only the Mercedes Maybach is as unlikely to heave into your view on public roads and the typical B7 price tag of close to £200,000 after options reflects that. As ever with Alpina, there are two sides to its version of a series production BMW model. On paper, figures of 600 brake horsepower and 590 pounds-feet from the twin-turbocharged 4.4-liter V8 suggest the B7 functions as an out-and-out -out alternative to the BMW M7 won't build. And in terms of performance, perhaps this is the case. The B7 benefits from considerable modifications to both its powertrain and suspension in order to make it not only faster than any other 7 Series, but also better handling. However, B7's true calling card is a sublime rolling refinement to go along with its combination of almost sports car levels of body control and a degree of agility totally out of kilter with the luxury saloon clique. It is an exceptionally well-rounded machine, and only Bentley's Continental Flying Spur gets the better of it in this respect. Number 8. BMW iX all-electric super-luxury cars, with the performance, refinement, and versatility to really command the road, have been slow to emerge. But the BMW iX is the closest thing we've seen to one so far. The exterior design of this full-size SUV is divisive, and to some it may not count as desirable at all. But to those who really think about the EV they want to own, who cares about how sustainable its various ingredients and production processes are, and who look a little deeper to find the desirability of a high-end car. The iX should stand out for all sorts of reasons. This car has environmentally friendly olive tan leather, lightweight electrically excited motors which have no need of heavy magnets, and the metals for its drive battery are sourced responsibly from North Africa and Australia. It's available in several versions, the middle sitting iX, X-Drive 50 version of which has more than 500 horsepower, four-wheel drive, and an advertised range in excess of 300 miles. And then, there's the headline M60 version with its 600 electric horses to call on. Number 7. Range Rover. The original luxury SUV is now in its fifth generation, and the latest all-new version is undoubtedly the best. While the Range Rover's looks are an evolution of its predecessors, this is still an imposing piece of metal, while neat touches such as the slim rear lamps create real visual interest. Under the skin, it features the brand's aluminium MLA Flex architecture, while there's a range of mild hybrid-assisted patrols and diesels, a plug-in hybrid, and for the ultimate in performance and luxury, a BMW sourced 523 brake horsepower 4.4 lighter V8 patrol. Regardless of engine, the Rangi's interior is now more spacious and lavishly finished than ever. The blend of modern design and tech with the traditionally 
brilliant use of wood and leather, creating a club class atmosphere that fully justifies an asking price that now starts within striking distance of a six-figure number. Refinement and comfort are top-notch too, with a supple and wafty ride matched to excellent isolation from wind, road, and engine noise. Yet while your passengers will appreciate the cosseting qualities of the Range Rover, you'll arguably be having an even better time behind the wheel. Number 6. Bentley Bentayda The Bentayda has had an eventful passage through the autocar road test evaluation process. Being the first in a barrage of 100,000 pounds plus super SUVs to come to market in 2016, the Bentayda's wonderfully plush interior, its swell of torque-laden performance, and its sense of imperious, singularly enveloping luxury make it stand out even in this class, and these qualities might even be potent enough to win over a cynic who started out opposed to the idea of life in a blue-blooded SUV. It isn't quite as comfortable riding or isolating as the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, offering instead a slightly more sporting driving experience that comes at the expense of that final shade of ride comfort. But a shade is all the bente that gives up, an occasional suggestion of head toss, and the merest fidget of fussiness over certain lumps and bumps at speed. Even as a luxury car regular, there's every chance that you simply wouldn't know what you were missing. Number 5. Rolls-Royce Cullinan Goodwood's Marmot addition to the super-luxury segment arrived in 2018. In response to a significant amount of Rolls-Royce customer feedback that a more daily usable, all-surface-capable, family practical model would be a very welcome way to augment the firm's showroom range. There is certainly as much to like about life on board this car as there might be to dislike about either the idea or the appearance of it. This is a true Rolls-Royce, and among its dynamic strengths are outstanding mechanical refinement, unimpeachable ride comfort, and excellent drivability. Height adjustable air suspension and BM Go derived four wheel drive gives the Cullinan all the off road capability that many owners are likely to require. And while towing capacity is currently capped at 2.6 tons, it's due to increase to a more fulsome 3.5 tons before long, which is probably enough for a speedboat considerably more expensive than the car. Number 4 Mercedes Maybach S Class. The richest and most special car in what might be the most universally respected and admired limousine range in the world, the Mercedes Maybach S Class is the modern standard bearer for Daimler's Maybach super luxury brand. To judge by appearances, you'd say it was at least as much S Class as Maybach, and that's the result of Daimler's strategic decision, taken a few years ago, to broaden the reach of the Maybach mark by creating Halo Maybach models across some of its more normal Mercedes passenger car ranges. And so the fact that this car is only an S-Class may be at once its biggest strength and its key vulnerability. Compared with a Rolls-Royce or a Bentley, an S-Class might not cut a lot of mustard for drool-worthy curbside appeal. But being an S-Class also makes this car the recipient of all those advanced active suspension and driver assistance technologies and helps to make it so brilliantly refined, rich, and cosseting. The flagship S650 model's 603 brake horsepower twin turbocharged Patrol V12 is barely audible, and its dedication to comfort and good manners is outstanding. At 18 centimeters, longer than even the long wheelbase version of the standard S-Class, you can guarantee that even the longest-legged passengers will have space aplenty. Number 3. Bentley Flying Spur Bentley's four-door Continental Series limousine started off its modern life as the Continental Flying Spur in 2006, only dropping the nomenclature prefix that links it with Crew's current two-door GT with its biggest model overhaul to date in 2014. But the Flying Spur is now in its third generation, something that's not difficult to detect from the prouder, more muscular design, which borrows heavily from the most recent, attractive Continental GT Coupe. Cruise Junior Saloon also benefits dramatically from a new platform, which was co-developed with Porsche and uses four-wheel steering and active anti-roll bars. It also better insulates the fantastically opulent cabin from the road and provides the basis for genuinely good driving dynamics. Grip, balance and steering are all noticeably improved. 
Number 2. Rolls-Royce Ghost The ghost was a line in the sand for Rolls-Royce when it appeared in 2009, the beginning of a transformation that took the company's annual production volume from hundreds of cars per year to several thousand. Now in its second generation, the Phantom's understudy has evolved substantially. Where the Ghost's mechanical underpinnings were once adapted from those of the BMW 7 Series, it now shares the same architecture of luxury platform as the Cullinan and Phantom. There are also innovations such as Rolls-Royce's mass dampers for the front suspension and an active anti-roll bar for the rear axle, both of which help bring ride quality closer than ever to that of the Phantom. And yet in terms of interior space, luxury ambience, and sheer material quality, the car sits only the smallest of rungs below its bigger brother, adopting, as it does Rolls-Royce's new post-opulence design approach both inside and out. It's a neoclassical fortress on wheels, but a usable one. Number 1. Rolls-Royce Phantom The grandest and greatest luxury conveyance in motor car was replaced by Rolls-Royce in 2017 and given a glittering five-star road test welcome by our road testers shortly thereafter. Owners will love it at least as much for the extravagant statement of wealth and status it endows and for the unmatched sense of occasion you enjoy when traveling in one. But while many won't ever know as much, the latest Phantom is also an utter joy and a rare pleasure to drive. Its superbly comfortable and singularly isolating ride comfort can be sampled from the back seats, of course, and is like nothing else you'll encounter in a car. Gently loping and deliciously indulgent feeling, but also supremely quiet and smooth, despite Rolls-Royce's fitment of the latest run-flat tire technology. Yet the precision feel and perfect weight of the car's large rim steering wheel is remarkable. Likewise, the ease with which you can place such a huge car on the road. The tolerance it has for whatever rate of progress suits your trip, the supreme refinement and flexibility of its V12 engine, and the progressiveness of its throttle pedal on step-off. Even though it's a near three-ton love song to splendid isolation, this car will accelerate from 0 to 100 miles per hour and from 30 to 70 miles per hour through the gears quicker than the last Ford Focus RS, the integrity of its engineering is simply breathtaking.